They teach courses on feminism in which the very first assertion is biology ain't got nothing to do with none of this. It's all culture. Okay. Now, generally in teaching, if you master parental investment and sexual selection, or, or if you master the evolution of sex differences in biological terms, and I'm teaching a course on it from a cultural perspective, I still invite you to give one of the early lectures so they'll know what that system looks like. Plus, it saves me a day's work. Now, I may owe you a lecture, but it'll be an easy one for me to give, you know. No, I've never been invited, right? It, I sit there and marvel to myself uh, that they should be so blind. Now, let me give you an, uh, a verbal illustration of this problem. We used to refer to the two sexes, and we have been so far, but that shows how regressive both of us are, how backward, how biologically deterministic, and perhaps fascistic. We're not dead sure, but we're pretty sure. Okay. We should be talking about the two genders. Gender has now replaced sex as a term that refers to sex, and it even applies to animals. So you say, well, the gender of that cattle is cow, and the gender is bull, and the gender of this pig is so-and-so. So, -so. so um, even their choice of what words we're allowed to use uh, is is designed to preclude biology from the outset. And this is just absurd on the face of it. It is absolutely absurd. You know, to say that we're in a position to assert very, very strongly that this is a genetic sex difference, well, we have to be careful, of course. Um, but... Um, but we can certainly have hypotheses that run along biological grounds, and there's plenty of evidence for biologically, quote, determined effects, you know, including what the sex uh, hormones are in the mother's belly uh, while the child is in there, uh, because both sexes have both of the hormones. Uh, testosterone we associate with males, but females have testosterone. Uh, we have estrogen. There's an interaction between the two. A mother, uh, the baby also produces testosterone or estrogen. So, um, so there are lots of possibilities for very early effects, which are biological. You know, it ain't no culture that is putting the extra estrogen in the air or testosterone or whatnot. So, no, I think that's uh, ganz Großquatsch.